one day away from the game. We're really excited and uh, just want to express our, our uh, appreciation to everyone that has shown us such great hospitality here and uh, to the sponsor Radiance Technologies and also to the Independence Bowl Committee. Um, uh, so much energy and effort goes into taking care of us here from the people here at Shreveport and uh, and, and uh, it, we, we feel it. We we're really excited about the opportunity to play in this game and um, the the uh, amount of love and and uh, just 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 effort we feel it and and, and the uh, just the people here are amazing and getting to know everybody uh, and, and and different events that we've had all week has been amazing for our players and so I speak for them saying that being being involved with the community was really a lot of fun and also being able to to see how hard they work at putting together this bowl game we, we hope that they know that we really appreciate them and, and really honored to be here in this game and and to to be able to share the field with a wonderful team like UAB and, and, uh, and a great coach Bill Clark um, they're they're, they're uh, wonderful people and we've been it's been cool we compete against all these things I don't I don't know how they they come up with this uh, the championship um, belt deal for the competition but uh, obviously we're not really good at playing Madden as a team, and I don't plan on that getting any better. And uh, but for some reason we can throw axes, so maybe that's something that we need to improve. <laughs> we, can, we can put in. I don't know if we can put that in our players' lounge, but um, but it, it would it, it, it uh, the the trivia part. It, the, the the competition was fun, but it's actually getting to see um, the UAB players uh, interact with our players. It, it was a it was a lot of fun and. Um, Something that's really special in, in the in the bowl game uh, in the bowl season. So really honored to be part of this bowl game, honored to be on the field, and, and I'm I'm excited to see our guys perform one more time. And uh, as a coach, I, I I really appreciated the the uh, the preparation that our players um, brought and the development I saw from a lot of our young guys. We took full advantage of the practices that we we had, and um, and hopefully this will help springboard us into the 22 off season. Uh, but really excited about this game coming up tomorrow and, and looking forward to being on that field with these guys one more time. So we'll take any questions you may have. I saw you and Bill get a quick embrace uh, right outside of there. Uh, he spoke a lot about the respect he has for you in this program uh, over the past couple of weeks. Uh, you know, just what are your feelings on uh, Bill as well as the UAB program? Just, uh, you know, seeing what they've been able to accomplish these past four to five seasons. Oh yeah, I, I think um, what, well, Bill has a great reputation in the in the in college football and the coaching world, and so um, I've known of him and uh, seen a lot of things that he's done with his program. And then uh, to meet him, uh, it's been really an honor for me to get to know him and on a personal level. But not just him; you look at his uh, coaching staff, and and uh, man, what wonderful people running that program, and and that's just. Uh, from, from top to bottom, and being able to meet their athletic director, Mark, and being able to meet their, their coordinators, their coaches. And um, yeah, it, it's just, it's really cool. If, if anybody understands what we're doing as coaches, it's, it's each other. And so being able to talk and, and share and, and, and not worry about game planning, you know, but just to, to express uh, appreciation for each other. And, and, and I appreciate him because he's, his, he made. He wants to make a living in, in mentoring young men into becoming adults, and that's something that I really appreciate. Kalani, Kalani, where do you feel like your team has gotten better uh, since the end of the regular season in this bowl preparation? I think we probably got a little healthier in uh, on the offensive side, defensively, not as much, but um, everybody's banged up right now, and so uh, going into this last game, I. Uh, I think we have a good number of guys and contributors that will help us in this game. And I'm not really focused about the outcome of the game as much as I am the, just the guys being up and being ready to play in the game and, and being at their best. Uh, I think for us, uh, focus on the fundamentals and the little details matter the most. So it's really the bowl prep allowing us to go back and just going back to day one again and getting better at the, the small details. And that's the fundamentals of the game, the technique, making sure that we're assignment sound, all those little things that sometimes it becomes a little bit um, when you're shuffling players in and out and you're dealing with depth. Sometimes you don't have enough enough of the time to focus on the on the little fundamentals of the game. And so this was a good way for us to go back and and, and review that and make sure that we take care of, of doing you know day one stuff.
you guys are far away from Alabama. What's the like thought when you think of UAB? A lot of people think Alabama, Auburn, but you guys, is it a respected program? What do you guys think when you hear UAB? Of course, of course. And, and we know, I mean, we, we have a bunch of football junkies on our team. So we, we love college football. Um, we don't have a, a, an NFL team in, 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 in our state. And so everything's about college, college ball. And so our guys uh, love to follow the game. And, and when, when you see a team like UAB, that's, that's won a lot of games, and then you have a coach that's won um, Coach of the Year a number of times. Um, that, that's always something that, that we're, we're focused on and that, that we appreciate. And then last year we played so many teams in, in the conference that, that uh, carried over. So we played uh, La Tech and, and, and um, UTSA. Those games carried over, so we saw them as, a, as an opponent that we saw on film and, and scouting, and then you just can't help but appreciate good football when you see it. Uh, my name is James Hadnot, KSLA News 12. My question is for you, Tyler. Um, of course, a prolific season this year. So I wanted to know uh, who you kind of idolized growing up uh, running back wise and then who you kind of modeled your game after, if anybody. Yeah, so um, I kind of looked up to Marshawn Lynch. Just like he likes to, he likes to literally pound guys, pound guys in. And now, um, now I'm a fan of Nick Chubb. Nick Chubb, I think I really uh, compare my, my running back style to him. When I started him with the Cleveland Browns, so yeah, as you know, it's been it's been good. And then, um, what's your mentality? You kind of mentioned that you thinking about Marshawn Lynch and kind of Nick Chubb, um, but when you're seeing the hole or when you're kind of trying to find a crease, uh, what's going through your mind, kind of game in and game out, and rep in and rep out? Yeah, just um, obviously protecting the football. Protecting the football is one thing, but um, like whenever you see a seam, it's kind of just knowing. It's really just knowing your knowing the defense, knowing what you're running, knowing the scheme. And it all works works into place right there. And then if you're a one on one with a backer, you know you gotta you just gotta have that mindset. You gotta hit them before they hit you, and you'll be successful from there. Uh, for both of the players, we just heard UAB players talk about how hungry they are to win this game. How hungry are you guys? Um, we're extremely hungry. You know, that's probably the, the number one thing when it comes to bowl prep that people, people talk about is whoever is most motivated wins this game. Um, and so that's, that's one thing that all throughout this bowl prep, I feel like practices have been more competitive than, they've, than they have been all season. You know, we've been getting chippy with each other, getting into fights because everybody's competitive. Everybody's hungry to play another game. Um, so it's just another, another opportunity to go, um, go have some fun with our brothers again. Yeah, not even just uh, not even just the game. It's more of uh, the competition. For example, the winning the belt. We were so competitive. It was like I was getting mad when we were losing. So it was like it was tough. But you know, they're they're a respected program. You know, we're just excited. You know, it's just um, just another another game that we can that we're we're in the in the grasp to win if we play our best. If we play our best and all come together and just play BYU football. Coach, having a ranking next to your name. Some coaches say that's a distraction. Some say it's motivation to stay there. What, what, you, what is your take on that when UAB doesn't, but they're looking at you guys as we got to take them down? If they did win, it said this would be the biggest win in their program for UAB. Yeah, uh, we're not really concerned about all that stuff. And to be honest with you, nobody thought we'd be ranked preseason. And so uh, we have our goals that we established back as a program back in January when we lost a lot of production that went to the NFL. And all those guys could have came back, you know, and those guys all went to the NFL and, and, and people were questioning whether we'd be able to replace a lot of those players. And I, and I think that it was, it was a challenge for our team and our program and our coaches how the guys stepped up. And so being, being focused on what we're trying to accomplish is more important than anything else. I, I have a lot of respect for UAB and, and how hungry they are, but I don't think people realize that our program functions on one thing, and that's being focused on what we're trying to accomplish right away and not really worried about the future, not worried about what other people say. So there's a number attached to our name, but that wasn't there. That doesn't drive us. That's not who we are. We, we focus on trying to get this game um, played the right way. And, and, and uh, I want our guys to be here and prepare and enjoy the festivities, all that fun stuff. But part of that is just performing at their best, too. I'm not worried about the outcome of the game. I, I'm only f focus is that we're, we show up and we play our best. That's it. We can live with the results afterwards. These guys know that I love them regardless, win or lose, you know, but uh, they'll, they'll be able to live with the result a lot better if they know that they just showed up and played their best and had fun with it. Like that's, that's our approach to everything is to have a lot of fun and 
Um, we, we take it one time. Well, I know it's coaches talk, but we take it one day at a, t- at a time and one play at a time, one minute at a time. And, uh, and the focus has been razor sharp from these young men. And Gunnar mentioned it, that you can see that there's a little, there's some chippiness that I think these guys get a little, a little bit jealous when people are playing football games and they're not playing. You know, I saw during the bye week when we had a bye that these guys are just anxious, wanting to get out there and play. And so I think uh, it's nice to have uh, to be a coach of a bunch of young men that are hungry and want to play. I, I think if these guys won't, wanted to, they, they'd love to play another bowl game if possible. That's how these guys are. After we played last year in, in our bowl game against UCF, guys are hoping that someone else would invite us to another bowl game. So that that's the honor I have as a head coach to coach great men that are always competitive and want to play as many games as possible. So this question is for uh, Tyler and Gunner. Uh, will this be your guys' last game here at BYU? Um, you know, right now I'm not really focused on that. I think the, all the focus has been on um, preparing for this bowl game, and I think my, me and Tyler both, we've been talking about it a lot. It's really just, um, you know, put all of our efforts into this game, and then we can decide afterwards. We got, we got time to do that afterwards. Yeah, what Gunnar said. <laughs> uh, Gunnar, this is for you. Um, I wanted just to know uh, what's been your favorite part of just this season in general, and then also um, what's your favorite part of the position you play? Yeah, you know, this season's been really fun. I think uh, after last season, there was a lot of people doubting what we did. There was a lot of people saying that, oh, it was a fluke here. Um, you know, your schedule wasn't great. Um, so I think my favorite part of the season is proving everybody wrong, uh, proving everybody that we, we are a great team and um, this team can compete with almost anybody. Um, and then, you know, playing receiver is super fun for me. I think uh, just growing up, that was, was just the natural position that I fell into. Um, my favorite part is you know, it's really you're just one on one with the guy out there. Um, so it's 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 man against man. You know, whoever uh, wins, it, it shows. It shows up. And so I think that's that's what I really like about this position is just the competitiveness of it. And I asked Tyler uh, who he kind of fashioned his game after. He modeled his game after. Who did you kind of watch growing up? And if you if anybody, who did you model your game after? Um, you know, my favorite receiver growing up was Larry Fitzgerald. Um, I'm a I'm from Arizona. I'm a, I'm a Cardinals fan. I just think he's super technical, super smart player. And so that's kind of who I like to model my game after. Just a very good route runner, great hands, super savvy player. Thank you. Coach, a uh, little bit of coach talk here. When you look at the tape of UAB, what, what are some of their strengths that kind of stood out to you? I know you've had some time to prep and look at Bill Clark's team. Yeah, I, I mentioned earlier the, the fundamentals that they play the game of Simon Sound as well. Well coached. Uh, physical team, um, and, and, and I think uh, when you look at their defense, they're committed to stopping the run. That's why they're ranked so high in, in stopping the run, but uh, I think sometimes that overshadows a, an offense that's physical, can run the ball, um, but they can also take some shots downfield. So they, when you look at the, uh, the, the yards per catch that their receivers and their tight ends have, that's pretty impressive, meaning that they're, they, they are able to make big plays. And so that you complement that with how hard they play at the line of scrimmage and how physical they are. It's, it's a great challenge for us. So for both players again, um, you know, Kalani getting that contract extension. What, what does Kalani mean uh, to the BYU football program and, and uh, his, his role on, and the impact he has on you as players? Yeah, um, you know, I, I don't think I would have came to BYU if Kalani wasn't the coach. <clears throat> just because Kalani's just, Kalani just brings that family, that family, that culture, that, that coaching that I think everyone would want or would love for players, for players, and just um, just the type of coach that he is is just, it's just, um, it's just like a father figure. You know, he's like a father figure to I think everyone, especially to me. You know, it's just. The way the way he is on and off the field, you know, it's just great. It's just great to have a coach like that. Yeah, I don't think there's a, another coach in the country that has as much love for their players that as Kalani does. Um, you know, you can you can actually see um, the passion that he has for this game and for and for this team and just that love and the family atmosphere that he's created. It's it's you can feel the difference um, when when you're with Kalani and, and when you're with when you're not with him. It's, it's just a, it's a great environment that he's created. So I'm super, super happy that he's coming back for, for a couple more years. 
I should just leave and let you guys keep talking to these guys about me. No, but the, uh, I'm getting old because there was a time that I was a big brother. Now I'm a father, guys. Thanks. Make me feel old. No, but I love these guys. I love our players. And, and uh, I, I've, said this be I've said this before that I've had uh, great mentors in my life, and Lavelle Edwards being one of them. Uh, and and he, he took really good care of me when I was a player for him. And, and so uh, it's an honor for me to be here. These guys make me a better person, so I, uh, it, it goes both ways. Tyler, Tyler, you're on the verge of several BYU rushing records, as you may or may not know. How important is it to you to reach those milestones? Mm, honestly, I wasn't really thinking about it like that. I kind of just take it game by game, day by day. So, you know, whatever records I break end up just being a bonus because I'm not really thinking about that until the end of the season. So, you know, it'll be, it's kind of cool. It's kind of it's kind of an honor, I guess. So. Then the question that Mitch asked about your final game, will your performance tomorrow have any bearing on your decision? Mm, we'll see what happens. Yeah, we'll see what happens, you know. <laughs> Just take it game by game, like I said, game by, or day by day, and then just see play by play. So we'll just see what happens. Should have a decision soon. How about for you, Gunner? Um, you know, kind of what Tyler said, we'll see. You know, it's, it's a decision that I said I was going to make after the season, and so we're going to wait till after the season to see what happens. Let's do the last one right there with, uh, with Sean. Uh, Tyler. Obviously, a lot was made about what you guys did last season. Gunner touched on it a little bit with, you know, whether it was overrated or a fluke or whatnot. Do you feel like you personally backed up what you did last season? I mean, the breakout year that you have, and statistically, you just you did so much more, more yards, more touchdowns, all that thing. So do you feel like you kind of backed up everything that you did last season and then some? Um, I wouldn't say just me. I would say the whole offense. offense. You know, I love running behind the big guys. So, you know, I, they're literally, like, Whatever they do, like, they bring the success on me, on, on me. Like, they don't even get that much credit like that. So, you know, like, all my, all my success is literally to them. So I would say, yeah, like, obviously we had, a, we had that year last year, and then we backed it up this year. So I would say our O-line, and we had a lot of guys hurt in the O-line, and a lot of guys ended up stepping up, and now they're performing, like, Ju like uh, Junior Barrington, Campbell. And a lot of and a handful of guys like Braden Kime. So literally just it's just taking just trusting the guy next to you, just trusting the guy that's below you and then them just balling out right there. So, you know, yeah, I would say wait, what was your question again? Just yeah, just whether you backed up last season. Oh yeah. You so, covered it. <laughs> yeah, 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 yeah. I covered it then, shoot, my bad. No, it, it thank you. I I know that we're we're done, but I just wanna tell you guys thank you again to the media. I know that We'll, we'll get a break after this, probably talk to you after the game, but appreciate the way you covered our program and, and the way that you highlight these young men. These, these guys are wonderful. You could tell that they're focused on the game, and it's interesting because Gunnar missed some, some time this year playing um, because of his uh, the little things that he does right. He blocks really well, and, and it's blocking for this guy that, 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 that caused some of the injuries, but uh, you never hear him complain about it, and you don't hear our guys complain about the roles that they have, but... Uh, we're looking forward to getting Gunner back. He didn't get to play in the USC game, so we're looking. He, I know he's really hungry to get back on this field. And we went and checked out the field. It looks like it's a fast surface, and we're really excited about it. And I think uh, Tyler can make some plays, and Gunner can make some plays, and hopefully we can perform at our best and and, uh, and enjoy this game tomorrow with UAB. So thank you very much, guys.